Releasing this new video showing what happened during a mall shooting a few days before Christmas. Police say this 18 year old was the mall shooter firing off more than a dozen shots. Police say he was aiming for these two men who had just tried to rob him. KPX 5's Lem Ramirez is at the Oak Ridge Mall in San Jose with more on the weapon used during that shooting. Well, shoppers here at the Oak Ridge Mall are relieved that suspects have been arrested in this case. It was a very scary thing for shoppers and employees at the mall to go through. And for a lot of people, the concern, though, goes on. Mall surveillance video shows a man walking with his girlfriend when two male suspects come up and rob them of their jewelry. As the suspects walk away, the man who was just robbed produces a specially modified handgun, and despite his girlfriend's attempts to stop him, he opens fire as shoppers in the crowded mall duck and run. It happened just five days before Christmas. Very, very lucky that no innocent citizens were hit as a result of this. The mall was placed on lockdown and it took hours for police to sweep it. Today, police announced all three men allegedly involved have been arrested. 19-year-old Ulysses Jimenez and 18-year-old Paul Labou were arrested for strong-arm robbery and 18-year-old Naylin Hobson Plattner was booked for multiple counts of attempted murder and firearms charges. His handgun, police say, was modified to shoot automatically and he fired off 15 bullets in just a few seconds. It's basically a machine gun in your hand. Um, those rounds can go anywhere. The weapon has not been recovered, but police do find many modified or so-called ghost guns on the streets every day in possession of people who can't legally own firearms. The number of, of ghost guns or personally manufactured firearms that we have recovered has gone up astronomically in the last four years. District Attorney Jeff Rosen says President Biden's order to ban unserialized gun kits is part of a larger law enforcement crackdown to get ghost guns off the streets. It's becoming the weapon of choice for criminals. At Oak Ridge today, one shopper said the rise in gun crime is concerning, but not to the point where he's afraid when he goes out to public places. I'd say it's getting close to that point, but I don't actually think of it every time I go out. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.